this video has been severely delayed because they keep changing his name in Japanese twice for the translation and one in English. Now that we finally have his name, can we save him? Hey what's going on guys, I'm Mr. Four here. Today I'm back to cover Salvation Wing Angel Saras Vale in Divines. This is our last quick start deck that we will be updating and he has been delayed because, you know, uh, his name is pretty hard to spell for the Japanese cry. So today we obviously have Fade of Fourth because we are going to go through a card that has Daisuke Izuka art. I love Libertos. I love Libertos too. So the thing is that if if you do the math, if you go back and scroll, we've covered five out of six of the uh, quick start decks. Obviously we pioneered all of uh, Cristianos, but we are going to try and help every other deck that we can, except Osra Jazz because I'm going to let Miltai do that one. Okay, don't worry, they'll die. I won't steal your job. Uh, other than that though, this deck is very fun as a Cater Sanctuary deck. But the problem is that most Cater Sanctuary decks all end up with very similar output. Like, Graham Grace feels like Alden. Alden feels like, uh, you know, Rezaya. Rezaya feels like Saras Vale. Saras Vale feels like Magic Steel or Blaster. So what, what the hell is the difference between all of them? Uh, that is that Saras Vale has infinite persona, right? And this deck has very good resource management. Resource management strong enough that I think even Rezaya would ask to resign from his job. This deck actually has really good multi-attacks, board building, you name it. It can do a lot of things that most Cater Sentry decks actually can't do as well. So with that out of the way, we will be going through this deck. Uh, it's a very simple deck to build. We do have one to two Cater generics that we did put in, but you don't need them. I, I think you don't actually need them with the exception of like Kyber. But, but they're, they're good for the high roll. But they're good for the high roll. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Later cards in Cater... They've tried to balance it out so that you don't get to multi attack anymore. But they, they want they want because they want you to buy Kyber. They want you to buy Kyber, yeah. Yeah. They okay. want you to go and buy. I mean Kyber got reprinted as a common, so yes. you, you should hopefully be able to find it. So of course because right you know then. we are very funny, we are running Crimson Lion Cup Creef as our starter. There is Carrying Sage. So Carrying Sage's ability is that when region of Bond by Knight of Common Silence, Sweet Helm. Yeah, this is all the the quick start that right line. Nice. Uh, you get to this is uh oh, you know, oh yeah, you get to Look at you gotta review the top card of your deck, and you may call it if it, you may call it if it's a grade two or lower normal if grade two or lower normal grade two or lower unit card, and if it's not you add it to your hand and then you choose one card for your hand and discard it. Yeah, so man. So carrying stage is honestly just it's just better. Uh, if rooks, you know not rooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah rooks. Yeah, rooks is better. Better rooks because better unlike rooks. calling uh, false calling of uh, over trigger, you just get to add, in case you see you just add it add it to your hand. Nice. Oh, if it's I, a great tree, you add it to your hand. And it's even better than Blaster Javin. Oh, and ten, ten, okay. But Blaster Javin is free. Oh. Blaster Javin is free. You don't, you, you don't have to, like, you know, it's fine. Okay, so what does she do? I know this one's pretty cool. Yeah. Knight of Calming Silence Swift Helm is the, is the strongest Agramor clone I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you don't get to, you don't even have to call it to the wrong circle anymore. Ooh. So basically, Swift Helm says that when you're ridden upon by a, by a Salvation Wing Angel, Salvation Sire, Sire, uh, you draw a card. No, you, you call a card from your hand, and if you call you call a great tree or lower card from your hand, and if you call a card, you draw a card. Oh, that's pretty good. So it's basically just there to basically it's you it's basically the same logic as like the Minerva order. Like you're already gonna call the card, then you might as well just get a draw off of it. Why not? Yeah. Why not? And uh, both of them have the same quick start deck ability, which is that carrying stage is a thirteen k booster. Uh, and Sweet Helm is um fifteen k shield. It matters for Caring Sage because Caring Sage as a thirteen k booster is a strong enough number that you will play it going first, and we actually play this in the main deck as well. Yes. Okay. Then Saref Sire's ability is that Canvas One Crone. Act. You get to uh, you get to search a deck for a card with the same name as it, and you add it to your hand, and yeah. then it gains that, and this unit gains that number. Yeah. So it's it's if you personal right consistency as long as you don't damage it. Yada yada. We said this. We said this for the past two QSDs as well. Yep. Then when you attacks, you energy plus four. Oh. You energy plus four. So it's the same as all the QSDs, and you choose a great tree or lower card from your drop tree, tree or lower card from your drop zone and call it. So yes, it is. It definitely is indeed very United Century. I love drops. I love the drop zone. It's I such, love Malkuth Melee. I love Malkuth Melee. Yeah, but all jokes aside, like the drop zone is actually a very, very useful area for you to be recurring rather than you know just randomly calling from, from the, the top, deck. randomly calling from the top five. Or, I like, love you know. Blonde as well. Yeah, so being able to have like just that that guarantee unit that you want that you know that you have in your drop zone that you can call is obviously going to make this deck infinitely better than a lot of the stuff that United Sanctuary has been giving us. Stuff like Grand Grace, stuff like Alden. You know, it's just better catapult in that sense that you don't have to gacha what you're going to call from the effect. 
Yeah, and it does help that it gives 10k to the unit that calls back. So yeah. it's already a 20k beta that will threaten with Persona at 30, and the numbers will keep getting worse. Yes. Because as we move on to our great trees, our great trees, we play four copies of Saras Veil, one in the main deck. Yes. Like three, three in the right deck, three in the main deck. No, one in the right deck, three in the main deck. One in the right deck, three in the main deck. Uh, four, four copies four, of Virus Call Dragon. Yeah, Virus Call Dragon, and, and three, three copies, copies of, of this spinning light, Gwendolyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll go with Vir So Persona Ride is self explanatory because you get to search it out. Uh, yeah. Virus Call Dragon is the main, is the one of the best arts in Kata Sanctuary <laughs> ever, 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 period, ever. ever. Like, he really just looks like, he just looks like Promise Call. Like, yeah. actually, like, okay, okay, you, 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 you be the judge. You, you, you be the judge. <laughs> Does, do they look the same? Do they always... Like, Zuka. like, you can't yeah. go no, you can't say no. Yeah, so, Virus Call's ability is that when placed, if you, when placed from hand, only from hand, only from hand. so that means you cannot use it using Sarasio skill. If you have a Seraph Sar- Sar- Sire Vanguard, Counter Blast 1, look at the top 5 cards of your deck and choose one card from among them that is grade 3 or lower and call them. Yep. And then you shuffle your deck. So it's just, instead, so unlike the Strafe Command and Respino, you are just, you get to filter through your deck rather than just blindly drawing a card. Yep. Yeah. But obviously, of course, that also cut. Obviously, cards with caveats because if your top five is all triggers, and you're just like you're just a bit sad. Yeah, but I mean, top five is pretty good to build a board. Yeah, like, you can't really go wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, and he does waste a counter blast. Or does he? Or does he? Because his second ability is Rega Circle. When a uh, Rega Circle once per turn, when this unit attacks, um, you may soul blast one, and this unit gains five thousand power. If you so if the card that was soul blasted for this ability is, uh, Saref Sire. You may either counter charge one or energy charge three. Yes. So energy charge really is just got only if you're gonna is really only really useful if you're going, going to first. use your divine draw. If you're going first. first, or you are planning to play a forty five dollars staple in, in a quick start deck, deck <laughs> list for some reason. But honestly, like the energy charge three is like still pretty good. Like, en- like energy charge is never bad. The counter charge is the real big one because Kata Sang doesn't really have that ma- that much consistent counter charge. Yeah. Especially not anything, especially like, they literally had to like, make a clear card for Rezael to him to have consistent energy charge. <laughs> yeah, so just having energy uh, counter charge on a card is already very important for this card deck. And then of course we have a old face from DBT07 which is the Spinning Knight Gwendolyn. So Gwendolyn's ability is that continuous during your turn if you have Persona written this turn, which this deck always will do, because, always will do. because you always have Persona right consistently, uh, this unit gains 5,000 power, and every and during the battle that it conducts, your opponent has to guard with two or more cards from their hand in order to guard. Honestly, I'm surprised that Saras Veil, for all the time that it's been, hasn't blown up yet, because Kata has a lot of Persona right based cards, don't you think? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of it, and having infinite Persona right, like, I'm surprised no one has touched this pool yet. There's three, there's two decks that rely on it. Oh. oh my god, it's almost as if we done tech profiles for them. Oh wow, check the channel. Uh, our great tools, we play... Okay, Swift, Sweet, Sweet Helm, 3 copies of Kaibale, 3 copies of Dream Angel, 4 copies of Resurgence Dragon. Yes. So, research, so uh, Sweet Helm is a good 15k shield. Uh, we don't really need the shield because we want to try and end the game faster using beatdown strategies. That's why we don't play more of her. If you want to, you can. You could though, yeah. Resurgence Dragon is a card from the quick start deck that now has its ability, which is that when when this card specifically is placed on the rear card circle from the drop, from zone, the drop zone, it gains 10. 10 so, so it's 20k beta for free. And yes, this card does work with Reza. Yeah, Yay! So yes, it, it works. So if you are a Kata player true and true for this entire device era, this one, this. this one card definitely will be used in both, will probably be used in both of both the decks. Main, main decks for Kata Sang. So it's worth picking up for both. Oh my god, does it mean it will be used in Vajura? <gasps> <laughs> uh, Drilling Angel, if you may notice, because Viro Call requires you to Soul Blast Seraph Sire. Yes. So obviously, oh, you can loop it with Drilling Angel. There are ways in order to try and get Seraph Sire back into the soul, which is why we play Drilling Angel. Because I Drilling, don't believe Drilling it. Angel states that you can choose, when, when, when placed on Regal Circle, you may choose a card from your drop zone, then put it into your soul, and look at the top three cards of your deck. And if a card with the same name as the card that you put into the soul, for this effect appears in the top three, you can call it. Otherwise, you just shuffle the deck. So generally, it's, it's just it literally is just on place plus one soul, and maybe you get a plus. Uh, mainly you get a plus one on the field, but generally you just need it because you can put the seraph sire back into the soul, and you're able to do viral call. Let's say like you you know you call another you call like another viral call, viral, viral call from the drop zone. You're able to have the counter charge twice or the energy charge twice. 
Damn, that's yeah, so Julian Angel is very important. Is that this is this is this is the card that you cannot cut if yeah. you're willing to fla- be flexible because this deck is that is very flexible. Uh, I card- cannot believe that Julian Angel has gone from why do you play this in divines? This card is shit, don't do it, you need the call tree, to we are looping a soul blast one specific card. I, I cannot believe that we have reached this level. Like don't tell, don't tell that to the Genesis players. Don't tell that to Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 don't let them know. Don't let, don't let them know that they can put the Taro back in the soul. Don't let them know. Okay, Kyrie! Yeah, because Kyrie. Kyrie. Very, very simple card. I think I've gone gone over... It's him in every single Catasang deck profile that is not hex swap. <laughs> which is that when placed from hand... Eh, eh, we know. It's just when placed in general. When placed in general. Color yeah. plus one, soul plus one. You look at the top three cards of your deck. You choose a grade two or lower normal unit. Reveal it. Actually, no, no. You can review any card. And if it is a grade 2 or lower normal unit, call it. Call it. If not, you add it to your hand. Damn. So you can add Persona right to your hand, you can add Elementarius and it to your hand, you can add other cards to your hand, etc. etc. You don't need to do Yeah. There's a reason why it's $40 now. Yeah. Kyrie is, Kyrie is, of course, you know, the best way to enable FIFA your attacks in this deck because, you know, you just call it using Sarah's Sar- Sar- skill and then you're able to look at the top 3 and then call another unit on the other column. Fun. Yeah. Very, very fun. Fun. Yes. Moving on to our great ones, our great ones, we play four copies of Karen Sage and one in the right deck. I think that's the first time we get to actually say that. Yeah. In like a very long time. That we have a great one right deck card that's at a four off. Yeah. Usually, it's, great one, because because usually, usually it's the great two. Like, like for example, Golda X. Golda X is a great two. Yeah. Uh, playing four, four copies of Halo Shoot Mark. Four Painkiller. And Killer. four, three in- copies of Endoclear. Yeah. It really feels like a Angel Feather deck. Now. Yeah. Because uh, Karen Sage, you've gone through it already. It's just a 13k booster. Yeah. Uh, perfect guards, you need to stay alive. We are using the new one, but frankly, you can use any one you want. Yeah, and then of course you have a nuclear because, like I said, you need to ex- you need to play as much counter charge as you possibly can in Katasang. And because we are personal running every turn, we are always gonna be riding a great tree on top of a great tree. Yeah. Therefore, a nuclear will always brought. So a nuclear skill is that when a great tree unit is ridden on top of your, when you when your great tree vanguard rides on top of a great tree, uh, you may soul blast one. And you may count and you count charge one and then you choose your and retire this unit so plus one, retire this unit, can't charge one, you choose your Vanguard and it gains five thousand power. Yeah. So it's it just there so it's just of course it was meant to be used to you but but uh, you know, the rest of Catasang can obviously just make use of it because most of them will be abusing persona right. So it means you're always gonna ride the great tree on top of the great tree. And yeah, painkiller. Uh yes. Uh, to all of you Luat players, you definitely have four of these sitting in your, sitting in your cupboard. Or your Not for long, the band list will touch you. So your deck list somewhere, which is just that when at the end of the battle, they actually boosted, so plus one, retire this unit, draw a card. Yep. It's yeah, just, yeah, a, it's 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 just it's yeah, the it's e- easier cycle card. That, it, it's the definition <laughs> of cycle card. This is the cycle card. And then you can also just call it back using Sarah Sire skill, so you know, you can you, you can loop it even more. I love Sire. I love Sire too. Moving on to our grade zeros, our grade zeros are very simple. Our grade zeros, we obviously play our hero shoot. Uh, not hero shoot. Uh, our uh, crimson life card creep. You can you can play so well if you want to. Uh, don't play uh one don't play Amatinoa because you know you're not gonna be really calling that many great trees. We play four heal, three effect draw, and eight creep. That's so really, really this is of course the bread and butter for Ketosang because you just need to kill your opponent as fast as possible. You have no creep pressure in this deck. Uh, yeah. the draws is because. Uh, generally this deck is not gonna last very long, so you can just play the draws and you can get your pieces earlier. Uh, heals because you can't find Vanguard. Uh, blue OT because you you just want the extra critical trigger in your deck. And now that it's the card, a, it's just a ninth crit. And now that the card is reprinted, you can generally are able to spread it out more towards other decks. But of course, if you cannot get it, then just play Amatino. Like, there's nothing. It's like it's not optimal, but it's okay. I mean, you won't die, right? Yeah. Like, you, won't, you won't really feel bad playing it. And that really wraps up. Uh our deck profile for Saras fail. Oops, where's the great one? Oh, I should put it back in there. Put it back with the rest of the red rest of it. So really, like this deck is very interesting. Actually, this this deck is certainly not normal. No, it's basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's basically. It, it, it feels like the most template Kettle Sanctuary deck out there, but it does it better than the templates that it's based on. I I I really don't know how to describe it. Like it it. I mean, the best way to describe it is that it's just liberators. <laughs> yeah. it, the play style is really just. You have you have some form of superior call, but you're mainly just superior calling to build a board in the main phase, and then you just bash your opponent, and then you go for your one huge multi attack call, with, and then that unit gains that doesn't power, and you try to close the game with just the pressure, just adding pressure on top pressure, on top pressure, on top pressure, on top pressure points. 
Yeah, like it, it, it feels weird that we are actually doing that. Like, yeah. That after this, this is not something that, that you expect. After right? ten, after eleven years, li- uh, your liberator deck has not been your guess not any deck has not been condensed into a quick start deck. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, again, we are still in the midst of covering some more divine decks. I know it's been quite a fair bit for DZ BTO one. We will take a bit of a break before DZ BTO two because there's no way we're gonna do a premium deck profile. But other than that though, we will try and finish I think a few more DZ BTO one decks. We still have about two to three left. So yeah, and we'll do some V. Maybe we'll open a P product. I don't know, we'll see our luck. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Stay safe.